What's going on? It's your boy C Trail, and today I'm going to teach you step by step on how to redeem your code in order to receive the Batman NFT. I'm also going to show you step by step on how to place and upload your Batman NFT to OpenSea NFT Marketplace. Now, if you didn't know, in order to get the Batman NFT, you would have had to have been the first ones to purchase the Batman ticket before February 14th, 2022. Then after that, you would have had to have seen the movie by March 6, 2022. Now... On March 8th, 2022, AMC sent emails out to the people who did what I just said, purchased the ticket by the 14th and seen the movie by the 6th, and they emailed every individual their, um, you know what I'm saying, they code to redeem in order to claim the NFT. Now... Let's go ahead and get into this step-by-step -step process on how to redeem your the Batman NFT and how to place it on OpenSea NFT Marketplace. Well, let's go. Like I said, AMC sent all the individuals an email to claim the Batman NFT. So here goes the email, all right? Congratulations, because you are one of the first to get tickets on our website or app by February 14th and experience the Batman at AMC Theaters by March 6th, you get to claim a limited edition, the Batman NFT. You know what I'm saying? You got to claim it or redeem it by the 29th of March, and you have to register with Palm NFT Studios. All right, the NFTs are housed in the DC NFT Universe account and can be accessed anywhere by clicking the link. Now, in order to redeem your NFT, you're going to have to go to this website. All right, the website I'm going to put it below is https colon slash slash NFT dot dc universe dot com all right so after that you're gonna click sign up unless you already have one and then they're gonna email you to verify your account all right so then after you sign up you do redeem code and then you're gonna redeem your code with your unique code all right so let me take you step by step on that process so in the email, you're going to click this blue link, all right, or go to nft.dcuniverse.com. Now, when you do this, they're going to put you in a queue, all right? So look, you are in the queue. It's going to take a couple minutes, all right, a couple seconds. So just be patient and wait on it, all right? Then it's going to redirect you to Palm NFT Studios. Here is where you're going to sign up. So let me take you through that. All right, let me show you the website first. All right. So here you go. You're going to hit sign up. Verify your age. Hit confirm. You're going to put in your email. All right. You're going to create a username and your password. You're going to hit I accept. I am a human and then sign up. I'm not going to do this part because I already did this part. I already have an account. All right. This is just how to sign up. All right. So then once you do that, 
is going to say, you know, you've registered successfully. Check your email in order to verify your account. So you're just going to go back to your email, go to inbox. You know what I'm saying? Verify that you, you know, you're going to get the, um, let me show you right quick. Here you go. So boom, you're going to verify your account. All right. And once you verify your account, you're going to get another email to claim and reveal your NFT. All right. So back to this. Let me log in. So boom, all right, once you log in, what you're going to do is go to redeem a code, go down, all right, in the email, all right, where you receive the code, you're going to go down, it says right here, on the redemption page, enter your unique The Batman code. So all you got to do is copy the code, you know what I'm saying? Hover over it, select it all, command C. Alright. Go back to it. Enter your code. Command V to paste. And then you're gonna hit redeem code. Like I said, I already did mine. So I don't have to do this process right now. Alright, so once you do that, you're gonna receive an email to view your NFT once it's generated. All right, so they're gonna send you this email, which I just showed you. It's gonna be like, your DC NFT is ready. All right, so then you hit my review, I mean reveal my NFT. And then it's gonna take you to your collections. Now I'm not about to scroll down and show y'all my NFT. But it's going to be in my collections. You're going to be able to see it. You're going to be able to read about it, etc., etc. All right. So that is the step-by-step -step process on how to redeem your code in order to receive your the Batman NFT. Now I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to upload or place your the Batman NFT on OpenSea NFT Marketplace. Now me personally, I'm not gonna go through and do that because if you read the nft.dcuniverse.com website, it's looking like they're gonna have their own marketplace. So right here, spring 2022, upcoming secondary marketplaces live. Do you have DC Fandom 2021 NFTs in your wallet? Our secondary marketplace will be open in spring 2022 with a few more surprises in store. Now I'm going to officially do that on this marketplace, you know what I'm saying, once it's available. But OpenSea is the world's first and largest NFT marketplace. So if you're interested, I'm going to show you right quick. So what you're going to do is create you an account, all right, with OpenSea. You're going to probably have to verify your email, stuff like that. So once you complete all that, okay, what you're going to do is go to create. You can go right here or right here. All right, so you're going to go to create. Now, once you go to create, it's going to have you log in to a NFT wallet. Okay, the one that I use is Coinbase Wallet. Now it's going to have you uh, verify through your phone. Okay, I've already did that process, so I can't really show you right now, but I'm going to explain. You're going to have to connect your Coinbase Wallet to OpenSea in order to, you know, 
upload, transfer, and have transactions with NFTs. Okay. Now, in order to place it on here, so let me go to create. Now you're going to be like, dang, how do I put it on here? All right. As a supported type file or file type. So what you're going to do is go back to your collections. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what you're going to do is click on your NFT, okay? Click on it. It's going to pop up, and it's going to have your picture or your poster NFT on the left. So when you do that, all right, you're going to hover over it. You're going to either right-click on a PC or double click on the Mac so you're gonna double click and it's gonna say save image as I believe that's probably like the quickest and smartest way to do it so save image as you probably want to save it as a JPEG or a PNG you know name it something put it on your desktop so you won't lose it and then once you do that go back to OpenSea you're gonna click this part to upload it alright you're gonna find it on your desktops boom click it so let me just do this as an example let's say this is NFT so you click it open boom it's gonna pop up you wanna name your NFT you know name is something catchy something nice something that people will be interested in okay you can have an external link um, you know so that users can learn more about it you're gonna put a description in okay you probably want to add it to a collection so you're probably gonna to want to create a new uh, collection once you're done but as of right now I'm gonna just uh, act like I'm putting it in this future versus sky picking collection add properties okay characters if applicable alright levels okay add that if applicable stats unlockable contents and if it's explicit or sensitive content I don't believe the Batman NFT is explicit or sensitive content so you don't have to do that now here's the most important parts okay alright supply now long story short I will use Polygon if you don't want any fees associated with Eurethium. So let's click that. Now with Polygon, it appears as though you can have a lot more supply of that NFT. With Eurethium, you know, it only seems as though you can have one. So, boom. Eurethium is more um, common and people mess with Eurethium more than Polygon but with Polygon you avoid gas uh, fees gas free uh, fees and stuff like that alright so let's just act like we're going to do Polygon alright for the one alright so then hit create boom I'm not a robot so go through that process once you do that it's probably gonna come up with another window uh, just verifying everything and then boom that's how you upload the Batman NFT to OpenSea just follow the remaining steps and then it'll be in your collection so you go to your profile you know boom it'll pop up right here you're gonna have to choose the price that you want to place your NFT, you know what I'm saying, whether it's Eurethium or Polygon, you're going to have to do your price. You're going to have to do, like, um, how long it is uh, before it expires, etc., etc. But the purpose of this video was to show you how to upload it to OpenSea. So there you have it. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below and like the video. And if you rocking with me heavy, hit the bell so every time I drop something, you get it 
ASAP. All right. Now, thank you. Appreciate the watch. And y'all have a good one.